In this video, I'm going to take you through how to actually export your working file once you've completed it. So in this demo here, as you can see, I have a finalized CD cover, but also too, notice down in my layers here, it might be a little hard to see, but I have numerous layers kind of separating out all the elements. A published file, the idea behind it is that you're going to pretty much squish this all down into one single layer. Note it's important still that you hold on to this .xcf file the working file of GIMP, just because let's say maybe you misspelled something or your client says, you know what, I'd like to see a different color format. When you only have a published file, that's very difficult to do. There are some folks out there that will say, yes, uh, you know, you can do different options here regarding this. However, you know, you can go in, you can use different tools. Honestly, to me, you get to a point whereby it's not even worth the aggravation and you should just start all over again. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and take you through and show you the export option. To export in GIMP, you have the file drop down menu on the main menu. Now, you also actually have two options here, one of which is the very first option, the export to. If you have already gone through and exported once, you can start using this first option. It'll just overwrite your previous version. It'll keep all of the same settings for you. And you can just, you don't have to keep going through the export as process. However, for this demo, we're gonna pretend that we didn't do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say export as. So the first thing to point out is if you are working with a .xcf file, because I have a GIMP project folder here, it's going to want to export to where the location is for the XCF file. So because the XCF is in this GIMP project folder, this is where it wants to put it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select file type by extension, just so you can see this part. Notice there's a little plus symbol right here. If you click on that, it's going to show you every last file extension that GIMP can export as. Having said that though, I've not used all of these. For example, you can export a C source code. I've never had to do that with a graphic. However, the three big ones I want to point out to folks is first off, you have the GIF image, the .gif. You may run into situations where you want to use that. However, GIF was actually replaced really as with the PNG file. They both kind of do the same thing. Finally, you also have the JPEG image. The JPEG image is capable of thousands of colors, probably for something like a CD cover in a poster, for instance, this is going to be your go to. Now, as you were clicking on those, I want to point out, notice up in the name here, GIMP automatically goes through and changes that file extension for you. So you don't have to do that. However, for demo's sake, I am going to add it to after the example. Because when you're exporting for the first time, you're going to get a pop-up window that's going to give you additional options. So to show you here, if I go ahead and say export, you would get this with GIF and ping as well. Um, the only thing that I do just because of my machine's capabilities is the quality of the JPEG. This is normally defaulted to 90. I just crank it to 100. And then you can go ahead and say export depending on your file size, how many layers you have, and how much content is in the file, that actually could take a little bit to export. But now, if I go ahead and Alt-Tab and come back in to look at my file here, so let's go to GIMP, there's that CD cover example too. And I double click, and notice now it opens at the preview window. Again though, I wanna draw your eyes over right next to it there. To the XCF file. So I still have that original that if I have to go in and make changes for a client, I can. Again, though, you can have multiple exports as well. So for instance, here, I may have two JPEGs going on here, but then notice also I have a PNG. Sometimes depending on the platform or how the image is going to be displayed or used, you're going to have multiple exports. But that's kind of the core as far as exporting a graphic directly out of GIMP.